Right, now we're going to complete the framing by putting in our crossbars. These are the two shorter 3 millimeter diameter rods. Move the edges over. about the way that we cut these sails is that um, if you've assembled it correctly with uh, sails touching each other or just I mean they can be a millimeter apart it's not that critical there and you fold it over on your lines and you've been as precise and tight as you could possibly be all these pre-cut parts will fit with no problems at all and the kite will fly perfectly. Now, I'm sliding our dihedral up so I can show you how to align it to the crossbar to our vinyls on the ends here. What I do is I take our straight edge and line it up across the vinyls where they intersect the leading edge and you can see how high we are we want this to be in that same line so let's just go ahead and slide this down we're pushing against the dihedral to push that vinyl down and we can slide this vinyl down until we get to it. Now it's locked in there. Go ahead and put your straight edge across. We want these sails to be stretched out. Okay, we're still a little high. About a quarter of an inch or six millimeters. So we can slide that down until we have a quarter inch or six millimeters of distance there between the top stop and we slide that vinyl down try that again There we are. Now we take our crossbars and we insert one end in to the vinyl on the wing on the leading edge, the other into the other leading edge fitting so that they touch the leading edge fiberglass. We insert the other end into the vinyl, into the dihedral, push to make sure that it seats down into the bottom, down here. And we're going to bend this back and bow it. And tip it in and insert it. Seat it in there. We now have a nice dihedral in the sail. like that.